Hi guys, this is Tim and Simeon from Swedish Homestead. We are making a series about um, chainsaws, the models that we have and everything. And I was, I said that we will make three videos. We'll add this little video to it. We are going to talk about um, the five safety features that every chainsaw should have. I'm going to walk through them real quick. It's really important that you make sure that those all exist when you buy a used saw. We start out here with this uh, lever or what you want to call it, it's the chain brake. Or actually the chain brake uh, sits in here but it's activated uh, with this lever. And uh, the way that works is if you cut with the top of your saw bar, which you should avoid doing, but um, if you happen to, to do it by accident, there's a very high risk of your saw kicking back at you, uh, straight towards you, because uh, they're pretty powerful. And so what this does is that your wrist should hit uh, the chain break and the chain should stop immediately. You can test this with a running chainsaw and then just activate it. It should stop right away. It shouldn't keep spinning for a few seconds. It needs to stop right away if it's working properly. And there's another way this is activated and that's just ba basically just by the weight of uh, this lever uh, and, and the force of the kickback. Say your hand would be here and it would kick back and your wrist wouldn't touch it, it's still supposed to just kick in if the kickback is uh, forceful enough. And the way to test that is to just hold your saw like this and drop it down on a hard surface. We can actually try that right now, see if it works. Uh, I, I can't hold it properly here, but. There, it worked. So, uh, that's the chain brake, a very important feature. And if we turn the saw on its side, uh, you see this piece here, that's made of metal on the saw. Uh, smaller saws sometimes have a piece of plastic or something. And it's there to catch your chain, should it jump off or even tear. Because if your saw is running at high speed, and the saw and the chain should tear, it will pull it around and whip it around the saw and uh, it, it, it will hit you and this will actually catch it so it doesn't fly away. And if, uh, yeah, you should just make sure that this is not damaged or missing, that fell off, uh, that should be there. And then if we continue with that uh, risk or that problem that can happen, you have uh, this part of the handle in the back see how it's wider than uh, this top handle. The reason for that is that it protects your hand in, in that incident. If the chain was to whip around your, your engine part and come back here, this protects your hand that it doesn't just hit you there with the sharp teeth. So that's why this part is wider and you should look for that in a chainsaw if you plan on buying a used one. And newer ones uh, all have this. And then uh, you have this feature here, which um, prevents you, or it just prevents the throttle to be pushed in uh, without you actually having your hand there and having a firm grip on this handle. Because it, it can only be pushed in if you push this one down as well. Uh, it's also a very important feature. I think it's silly to, for example, tape it down because it's not in the way. If you don't know how to run a chainsaw, um, or if you're bothered by it, I would say, then I think you need to work on your te technique, um, because it's really not in the way at all. But this needs to work. If you can't push in your throttle without pushing this down at the same time, then there's a malfunction on your saw. So the next thing that's important is actually uh, this switch where you turn your saw off. In the case of some emergency or accident, uh, it's important that you're able to just turn it off right away. And the wiring in there can get messed up and it doesn't work properly. And if you have to um, pull out the choke or uh, hold in your decompression valve or whatever else you can come up with to make your engine stop, it's not okay. Uh, your, 
uh, switch to turn off your saw needs to work properly. And then there's another feature that is for your safety, not so much for a um, uh, life-threatening situation, but more like a long-term thing, and that is anti-vibration uh, dampeners. And you can see him on this model. Uh, for example, here is this spring. So it means that both handles are actually separated from the engine part, and uh, they're just connected really by these springs, but there's no solid connection, and therefore the vibrations are not transferred into the handles in the same way as they would be otherwise. Uh, so they dampen the vibrations. And there's one here, and there's one back there, there's also one there. And it's important for when you do a safety check on your saw that these are intact. Because if one of them is broken, uh, all of a sudden the, the handle and the, the engine are not connected properly and your engine part actually feels like it's wobbling around and you do not have good control over your saw. That's another feature that needs to be working. So I think that uh, that is all the different safety features in a chainsaw. Okay guys, that's it. Short video about the safety features. I hope you liked that and enjoyed that. Uh, make sure to check out the other videos. Give it a thumbs up. If you have a comment or question, just leave it down below. We'll try to answer as best as we can. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.